Hi everyone, this is Ross at DePaul University, and today I'm going to walk you through a tutorial to develop a Hello World application for the Android. First go to developer.android.com to download your uh, SDK and um, your development environment if you haven't already done that. Um, under the download section, click the learn more link, and this is where you'll find the different packages you can download for whichever platform you are developing on. There's detailed instructions below all the download links. Once you're done downloading those files, go ahead and click the install SDK link at the bottom of the page and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions here as to how to install the plugins into your development environment and it will get your development environment up and running for you to develop in. I'm going to be developing in uh, Eclipse and in Eclipse we're going to create a new project by going to New uh, and we're going to do Other because we don't have the Android project up yet so click on your Android project and we're going to call this project Hello World Tutorial and it's going to create a new project in Workspace and after you've installed all of your uh, SDK plugins you'll have a plethora of uh, targets to build to and these are the different emulators that you can run your applications on um, because Android is an open source environment uh, you, you have to kind of anticipate what the user is going to be running your application on which uh, mobile device and so I'm gonna go ahead and choose the Android 2.3.3 target to build to I'm going to call the application Hello App. Package name, it's nothing too specific, something simple like a com, dot ross, dot hello. Uh, as long as you've got com dot something, um, you'll be able to run that package. Uh, the create activity, we're going to call this main. This is the uh, method that's going to be called at the I guess the launch of your application. So we'll keep it simple for those of you familiar with C, C++, any sort of uh, C main is typically what you run whenever you uh, start up your application. So go ahead and click finish. And on the left hand side in your package explorer should have the hello world tutorial. Go ahead and expand that folder. We're going to expand resources and com.ros.hello or whatever you called your package to reveal the main.java uh, file but before we actually get to that we're gonna go ahead in the resources folder expand that and expand the layouts folder to get our main.xml this is where your view is located this is where you're gonna be able to whether it's code or actual drag and drop interface building type of uh, style whatever you're fam uh, familiar and comfortable with that's how you can develop in Eclipse, it reminds me of, um, of Dreamweaver, for those of you that might be familiar with it. But to get this set up right, I'm going to go ahead and increase our size because that's what's required for the 2.3.3 um, uh, target. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and delete this original text field here get rid of that actually I think that I you might have to play around with this a little bit to figure out exactly um, what the uh, target will work with here in these different options and what size pretty sure that once we get the 10.1 inch which it's hard to see in this window right now but that should fill our emulator which I already have started for time's sake and the point three, Android point three, it looks like that gives us our uh, application title bar there um, but go ahead and on your left hand side there for your uh, widgets drop a button and then grab a, uh, a text view and drag that in now once you select in your outline here your button one 
in your properties window and you can have this configured however you'd like you have all the different properties and the properties that we're gonna work with for the button uh, we're gonna first start out with layout width so if you scroll through you'll eventually find layout width and it is under um, your miscellaneous properties here at the bottom and we're gonna go ahead and say fill parent because we want it to expand across the, uh, the screen over here if that there we go so there the button goes all the way widthwise across uh, the screen the next property we're gonna mess, mess with is the text property which right now is button but we want to be a little bit more descriptive give the user some instructions and we're going to say click to show text see it change there again in the window and then <coughs> the last excuse me the last property we're going to mess with we're going to play with here is the ID um, property this is going to allow us to find the button within the view when it comes to actually uh, the code side in the main.java we'll be able to find the um, the button assign it to an instance of a button and then we can also recognize the clicking in the code so I'm gonna for my shorthand I like calling it action button but I say ACT BTN like I said my shorthand for action button and that would that does that's about all we need to do right now with the button but go ahead and click on the text view and similar to the button we want to play with the layout width and go ahead and make that span across the screen as you can see there it's across the width and then we also want it to, the same thing to happen with the height so now it's going to fill the remainder of our screen here we also want to manipulate the text property of the text view. We're going to go ahead and say hello Android world. So you can see it changed in the interface there. And we're going to make the text size a little bit bigger because uh, our screen is a little bit bigger. So if we find text size in the property properties here takes a little bit of getting used to and familiarizing yourself with where all of these um, all these properties are at. So here's text text size. I'm going to go ahead and make it 40 pixels. We also want to go ahead and center our text to the middle of the screen and rather than alignment or padding if you're familiar with XML uh, the way that Android development, uh, what, it, what they call for alignment, is gravity. So if you find the gravity property, go ahead and click the three dots. We're going to go ahead and just select center. That's going to center it completely into the text view. So now, as you can see, it's in the center. And that, for now, is all we need for our <clears throat> excuse me our view so go ahead and save that you can do file save I'm gonna start using hotkeys the, the command s for save and then I'll run across some other um, a couple other hotkeys later on go ahead and make sure that the main.java file is highlighted and we're gonna go up to the green button and run it and this is an Android application so I already launched an emulator because it takes a little bit of time to uh, to get it up and running and then install everything make sure down here in your console that it is actually installing everything um, but go ahead build run and an emulator will come up it'll start to load and then install your application you'll slide the lock button to the right 
and you'll be at this screen and it'll continue to install your your application. So this right now is what our application looks like. The button doesn't do anything. Our text is visible. But what I'm going to do right now is change the visibility property of the text view because at first we want that not to be visible because as you can see our button says click to show text so when we click it we want it to show the text so find the visibility go ahead and make it invisible I'm not gonna not gonna build that and run it because it just to save time 